we are discussing about oslopithecines. Oslopithecines are of two varieties. One is Grizzel variety, other is Robustus variety. Then in 1924 by Raymond Dart, I discovered one fossil which is called as Tuang baby. Who discovered it? Raymond Dart. In 5 million years ago in Africa, mainly in South African part and East African part, I got two varieties of fossils. One variety is called as Grizzel variety, other variety is called as Robustus variety. Robustus variety is 8 feet and very stocky and build, strongly build, whereas Grizzel variety is little bit heavy only when, when compared to modern man, but when compared to Robustus it is smaller. So, Grizzel variety and Robustus variety. In Grizzel variety, I found four evidences, four fossils. One is called as Afarensis, Anamensis, Africanus, Ramidus. So, these names are given based upon their location. Yes or no? You understood. Last 20 minutes, I explained you. Then what happened? In Australopithecines, we have Robustus variety. Robustus variety is of how many varieties? Two varieties. One is Bossi and Peranthropus Robustus. Then recently in 2005, we got another robust evidence which is called as Ethiopicus. But we came to a conclusion because of its robust build, the Robustus variety might become extinct. And this Grazel variety had evolved into Homo sapiens. Then I compared Grazel and Robustus variety. By showing this skull, I came to a conclusion, the temporal fossa. From here to here, it is called as temporal fossa. The next is we compared the sagittal crest. When I sagittal crest, this bony like eruption. So, the, this bony like eruption is present in robustus variety, but this bony like eruption, which is called as sagittal crest, is not present in grizzel variety. From this, we came to a conclusion that the grizzel variety might have evolved into modern man, but the robustus variety have sagittal crest. We does not have sagittal crest, this bony like eruption. Hence, we come to a conclusion that robustus variety did not evolve into modern man, but grizzel variety had evolved into modern man. Then, we compared about forehead. See, this forehead is also vertical and little bit stiffer. My, I am a homo sapien. I am also, my forehead is vertical, little bit stiffer. So, grizzel variety is also steeper, whereas robustus variety is completely flatter. So, we have little bit steeper forehead. So, hence we come to a conclusion that in that oslopithecines of 5 million years ago, the grizzel variety had evolved into modern man. Then again what I did, I compared with grizzel and human beings. When I compared with grizzel and human beings, whether grizzel variety and human beings are same, then I came to a conclusion that the grizzel varieties are little bit robust when compared to modern man. From that we came to a conclusion that from 5 million years ago to today, slowly, slowly, 5 million years ago means 50 lakhs years ago. So, they took 50 lakhs years ago to slowly, 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 slowly reducing, reducing, reducing and becoming part of it. In that way, the reduction has been happened. In that way, the reduction happened, the Grizzel variety had evolved into modern man distribution. So, as I told you, Australopithecines are mainly present in South African continent and East African continent, found in South Africa and East Africa. First, I will discuss about South African Australopithecines, means this particular part, South African Australopithecines in this. The fossils are found in limestone caves. The first fossil, Tuang baby, it was named as Africanus. How many varieties we have? Four varieties, Africanus. Afarensis, Anamensis, Ramidus. So, first baby is similar to what? Africans. The, uh, the South African fossil, whereas Robustus also I got. Which Robustus I got? Peranthropus Robustus. Robustus is how many variety? Peranthropus Robustus and Peranthropus Bussi. So, in that what I got? Robustus variety. In Grizzel variety, how many I have? Four varieties. Anamensis, Afarensis, Africanus, Ramidus. What I got in South Africa? Africanus. The fossil of Africanus are found at Makapansa Ghat, Stark Fountain and Tuang. These are the three places where I got the fossil. So, what are those places? If you see here, see here carefully, Makapansa Ghat, see here, if it is visible, you can see here, Makapansa Ghat, Makapansa Ghat, Stark Fountain, Tuang, where it is located? So, see, the fossils of Africanus are found at South Africa. Why? Because South African Australopithecines. What are the three places? Makapansa Ghat, Stark Fountain and Tuang. Makapansa got Stark Fountain, Tuang. Which one that is? Grizzel variety. Which one it is? Africanus. Now you see the map pointing here. Star mark is there. One star mark is visible. Two star marks are visible. Three star marks are visible. One pointer is visible. One star marker I, labeling in school we did know. Ramidus, Anamensis, Afarensis, Africanus. Now you see there. First place, Aramis. 
Kanapoi, Old Dubai Gorge, Laitoli, first star mark means what? Ramidas. Second star mark, Kanapoi, what is it? Anamensis. Old Dubai Gorge, three star marks, it is called as Afarensis. Laitoli, three star markers, which is called as Afarensis. Whereas Mapagansa got stark font in Tuangs are pointer. Point means what? Africans. The fossil of Africaners are found at Makapansa Ghat, Stark Fountain and Tuang. Makapansa Ghat, Stark Fountain, Tuang. So, this is what? Grizzle variety. Now, coming to Robustus variety. Robustus variety, how many we have? Paranthropus Robustus, Paranthropus Bussi. Now, you see here, one plus mark, cross mark. What is the name? Paranthropus Bussi. Two cross marks. What is the name? Paranthropus Robustus. This is East Africa, this is South Africa. Now, you see. One cross mark, this is also one cross mark, one cross mark. Omo, Kobifora, Old Way Gorge, which is called as Paranthropus bossi. So, bossi is found where? East Africa, very good. Is found where? East Africa. Whereas here, how, how many? Two crosses are there. What is the name called as? Swartkrans, Cromdroy. So, in South Africa, what we got? Robustus. Robustus. Now, you are getting Oho. So, Robustus varieties are of two. One is called as Paranthropus Robustus and Paranthropus bossi. In that, all bossi varieties are found in East Africa, all Robustus varieties are found in South Africa. Coming to Afri Grizzle variety, we have four Anamensis, Afarensis, Africanus, and Ramidus. Anamensis, Afarensis, Ramidus. Where I got? East Africa. Only Africanus, where I got? So, Swazil, South Africa, South African, Oslo, Pixies.